The difference between those who succeed and those who don't is that successful photographers take action despite Bite those fears. This is the Cardi method. There's actually no way to learn how to do this unless you do this. You can't simply learn the theory of photography business or the theory of photography in general. You have to do it. We learn by doing and we can't learn how to drive, obviously, unless we drive. We can't learn the business of photography unless we do it. I'm here as your guide, but you have to take those first steps. So here's your actionable steps. Challenge your assumptions. Take a moment to list out all the reasons why you feel like you're not ready. Are they truly valid or are they just excuses rooted in fear? Often, you'll find that the barriers you've set up are more about perception than reality. How can you say that something is hard to do if you've never done it? Number two, take a leap with what you have. Choose one project, choose one client opportunity that you've been putting off because you don't feel ready. Commit to doing it with the skills, with the gear, and with the knowledge that you currently possess. You'll likely surprise yourself with the results. And number three, reframe your mindset. Instead of thinking, I need to be more ready before I start, shift your mindset to, I'll figure this out as I go. I'm a smart cookie. Embrace the process of learning by doing and recognize that this is how most professionals grow. We learn by doing. We learn through doing. The concept of learning through doing, it's not just a motivational slogan, eh? It's a tried and true approach to mastering any craft. No amount of theory or passive learning can replace the lessons learned through actual practice. This is particularly true in creative fields like what we do, photography, where real world experience often trumps, will always trump book knowledge. When I look back at my early career, I didn't wait until I had everything figured out before I started taking on assignments. I shot my first magazine picture when I was 19 years old. Got my first studio when I was 21. Do you think I was ready? I learned by taking on work that stretched my abilities, which were forcing me to adapt and forcing me to grow. Every shoot taught me something new, whether it was how to dan diff like whether it was how to handle difficult lighting situations, how to interact with clients, or how to manage unexpected challenges. These lessons were invaluable and they couldn't have been learned any other way. The beauty of learning through doing is that it actually accelerates your growth. When you're in the trenches, so to speak, you're confronted with real problems that require real solutions. That kind of learning, it sticks because it's directly applicable to your work. Also, each project that you do completes and builds your confidence. It completes and builds your confidence, making you more willing to take on bigger and greater challenges. So here's your actionable steps. Start a personal project, please. You talk, you hear me talk about personal work all the time. Identify a type of photography or theme that you're passionate about, but you haven't explored it deep enough. Start a personal project centered around that theme. It could be a portrait series, a self-portrait series, a photo essay, an experimental shoot. The key is to dive in and to learn as you go. Here's another thing that you can do. 
you could volunteer your services. I would, I say always, I would rather you shoot for free than shoot for very little money because free gives you the power. You have the power to create an amazing experience and getting an, get an amazing testimonial. If you charge $50, what you're doing now is you're making that person think that you're worth or you think that you're worth $50. Do it for free, give them a $5,000 experience and get a testimonial based on that experience that you can now charge real rates. So volunteer your services, offer to shoot for a local nonprofit or a friend's event or some sort of community organization. Start to get into the habit of interacting with people and not just taking pictures of what's happening as an observer, but interacting and make pictures of what hap what's happening. Volunteering also allows you to practice in a lower pressure environment while still providing a valuable learning experience. And another thing that you can do is set a challenge for yourself. Give yourself a challenge to create a series of images using a specific technique, a specific piece of equipment, or a style that you're unfamiliar with. And set a deadline to complete that series because what you don't track, you don't finish. Assess what you've learned during the process. <laughs> this is something that everybody needs to hear over and over and over again. Perfectionism is procrastination in disguise. Perfection is procrastination in disguise. Perfection is the enemy of progress. Perfectionism is a creativity killer. It's actually procrastination wrapped in a prettier package. It's that voice in your head that tells you nothing's ever good enough and that you're not talented enough and that your, more, your work must be flawless before it can be shared with the world. Flawless, it's gotta be flawless. Perfectionism masquerades as a high standard, but in reality, it's a barrier for you to actually get to that higher standard. It stops you from completing projects. It stops you from being a finisher. It stops you from sharing your work and it stops you from moving forward in your career. Here's the thing in the real world, perfectionism doesn't exist. Perfectionism doesn't exist. Clients, viewers, even peers are far less critical of your work than you are. I'm the most critical of your work than anybody because I believe you have to have a discerning eye, but the things that I see, your clients will never see. What they care about is whether you can deliver results, whether you can solve problems, and whether you can bring creativity to the table on demand. Your work will never be perfect but it can be impactful, it can be meaningful, and it can be effective. One of the most liberating realizations that I've had in my career that done is better than perfect. I wanna say that again. It's liberating to realize that done is better than perfect. It doesn't mean that you should deliver shitty work, but it does mean that you should be striving, like it does mean that when you're striving for perfection, what it does is it adds unnecessary delays, missed opportunities, and it leads to burnout. So progress happens when you allow yourself to be imperfect, but committed to getting better. Imperfect, but committed to getting better. Committed to growth. Here's your actionable steps. Set a deadline for every project. If you give yourself a month to do something, it'll take a month. Give yourself two weeks to do something, it'll take two weeks. Give yourself a week, it'll take a week. Give yourself two days, it'll take two days. Give yourself a day to do something, it'll take a day. Set a deadline for every project. Give yourself a strict deadline for completing each project, even personal ones. And when the deadline arrives, consider the project done and move on to the next one. 
This prevents you from endlessly tweaking and second guessing your work. How many photographers that I see, they shoot something, it's garbage. So what do they do? They go into Photoshop and they try to rework it and rework it. It's still garbage. Okay, well, let me spray some perfume on it. Let me spray more perfume on it. Let me lift the underarms and put a little bit of this on there. It's still garbage. Just shoot more work and do more reps and the work will eventually not be that way. <laughs> and you also have to release your work into the world. You got to put it out there and you'll get feedback. Share your work regularly, even literally share your work regularly, even, even when you don't think it's perfect, whether it's on social media, whether it's in your portfolio or in a professional setting, get comfortable with putting your work on the table. Sending your work for photo reviews like so many of you do, that feedback is so critical. It's a crucial part of your growth.